What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. So today we're here to unbox and try out the Power Support Claw. Now the Power Support Claw is designed to improve your Google Stadia experience by mounting your Pixel smartphone or other smartphone in the future to your Google Stadia controller. Now there is a bonus here. This complete system you see here also upgrades your Android gaming experience. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here we are with the Power Support Claw packaging. And you can see this is actually going to be pretty small. Now I've got the Pixel 4 XL on the side here. So you can just compare the size here and the product's actually in here. Now the unboxing for the Power Support Claw is as easy as it gets. You have the Power Support Claw right here. And then you have instructions located in the box on how to mount the Power Support Claw to the Google Stadia controller and how to install your smartphone in the device as well. So as we said here, the power support claw is actually pretty small and that's a good thing because as you can see here, when we need to take it on the go, it fits in a pocket really easy. And then we're gonna have our Android device that's going to go in another pocket right there. And really the biggest part of the system will be the controller. And that's gonna be the part that it's actually gonna be pretty hard to find a pocket for. But as you can see, I load up with cargo pants here. So I've got plenty of space. That's a little bulky, but that's the bulkiest part of the package. But you can see we can carry our whole gaming system with us. So here we are with the Google Stadia controller and we're gonna go ahead and install the power support claw onto it. So according to the directions, the best way to do this is to take the back and place that on first. And then we're gonna slide this forward. Now I have heard that some controllers are getting scratched when installing this. So in order to prevent any possible scratching, we're gonna lift up on this portion here and then we can slide the claw forward. And this actually doesn't fit so tightly. It's actually kind of flexible, so it shouldn't cause any issues. It shouldn't really scratch here. You just have to pull this tongue out just a little bit and it just secures in place. So here we are with the power support claw mounted to the Google Stadia controller, and I have to say I'm pleased with the results here. Now the unit has just a very small amount of play, but it's not going to be enough to cause concern. It's got enough flexibility that the claw would be easily removable if you wanted to remove it, and ideally it shouldn't scratch your controller upon removal. Now the power support claw is very functional because it allows access to all your buttons still, and it also allows access to the USB-C charging port on the back. Now again, the power support claw is small, so it's also not going to add a noticeable amount of weight to the package once it's installed on the controller. Now in advertisement photos, it is kind of difficult to understand how your phone is going to mount in the power support claw, but this is just a spring loaded mechanism here and it should fit phones that are pretty big and also phones with a case. So we're going to try this out with my Pixel 4 XL. So here we are with my Pixel 4 XL and this has the OtterBox Defender Series rugged case on it. And this is the ultimate test here because this phone is already big but with the case it's actually pretty huge. Now there actually is a trick to installing your phone into the power support claw. You actually don't want to go from the side in. It's actually harder to do. What you want to do is you want to line up your phone with this top portion of the claw and then you want to push up on that because it's spring loaded and then you're going to just slide your phone in just like that. Okay so here we are with my Pixel 4 XL mounted in the power support claw and you can see that I have this part of my case on the side here. The OtterBox Defender Series rugged case comes in actually three pieces. So you've got the plastic shell here that separates into two and then you've got this outer portion, the flexible portion. I couldn't install that in the power support claw because it made the phone too big. So this is frustrating if you have this really nice case you have to take off the outer portion just to fit your phone in the power support claw. And this could be remedied if they made the power support claw actually widen up just a little bit more. Now, because of my case here, you can also see my phone is kind of mounted more to the right side, just slightly, but that kind of messes with my experience a little bit. I would like to have the Pixel 4 XL mount it right in the center. Now, that's not really Google's fault or the power support claw's fault. That's really the OtterBox, the Finger Series rugged case design. You can see that we have these two notches on the top and the bottom, and the phone can't go right in the center, 
because of those notches. So everything is mounted together. You can see that everything stands upright on the table. That's a very nice feature. Now we're actually going to want to try out the Stadia experience, but we have to connect the gamepad to the smartphone via USB-C cable. Now, as you can see, this is a very small design and you don't really want to use a long cable, but if a long cable is all that you have right now, you can do what I've done here. I just kind of loop the cable around itself and it makes a smaller cable. So there are still tiny issues here. I have my cable connected and Stadia actually booted up. But you can see Stadia is not showing up in landscape mode. Now right now I'm not actually using the controller. I'm using the touch screen to navigate everything. But again, this would be a lot better in landscape mode. So now that we have this whole system together, let's go ahead and show off some game clips. So overall, I'm enjoying the power support claw, but there are a few flaws. The first thing is if your phone is a larger device or you have a thick case, it may not fit in the power support claw. Now this issue could be fixed if the manufacturers of the power support claw made that spring-loaded hardware extend out just a little bit more. The next issue we have with the power support claw is now that I have my Pixel 4 XL in here, I can't access the volume rocker and that makes adjusting the volume a little bit more complicated. Now these are the only issues I could find with this hardware. Other than those, I really enjoy this device. I like the fact that it fits in my pocket nicely. This device installs easily on the Google Stadia controller. Depending on the size of your phone, it may be a little difficult to get it into the spring-loaded hardware, but it certainly holds it very securely. It's not going to just fall out. I also like that I can use this device to not only play Stadia games, but to play Android games from the Google Play Store. There's also some hidden potential here. There is companion app potential, maybe that'll come to future games. You'll have your phone in sight while you're playing on a bigger screen to use a companion app. And this is also just a nice setup if you're gaming on a bigger screen and you wanna have your phone in sight just for those notifications. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways to support the channel. The first way is to head on over to my Amazon storefront by clicking the link in the description below. Now it's important for me to say that anything that you do buy off of my Amazon storefront, it does support the channel. And I only put things on there that I would like to buy or I have bought. So you'll only see good high quality items on there. The next way to support the channel is by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are very important. They're your ways to vote on whether you like the video or you like the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for newcomers. If they see a lot of likes on the videos or a lot of subscribers, they think that the channel has very good content and it's worth sticking around for. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.